player a bit of a different video today because I was recording this and for some reason I had no audio so I've had to uh, talk over the top of the video so anyway as you can see there I've got a Raspberry Pi uh, SNES case and it finally come through the post today and uh, what it came with was uh, the heat sinks and a fan I think it was about six pounds something on on Banggood and what I'll be using is a Raspberry Pi 2B and uh, I should be popping that in there but first of all better stick on the heat sinks so the heat sinks there's there's three there's a, a little flat copper heat sink and two aluminium ones but the copper one goes on the bottom on that chip there so just peel that off and stick it on there we go and then obviously you've got the the bigger one for the larger chip there on the left and I think the other chip is a just a USB controller from from memory. We'll just pop that on there. And with them and the fan, hopefully we can clock it up and get the most out of the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so it just slots in on the case. I want to turn it round. There you go. And you got the USB ports on the left hand side there, and your uh, HDMI at the top, and your power supply. And you get some screws. The longer four screws, obviously, for the case. And you get, for some reason, you've got another four little screws, but you only need two just by the pinouts to hold the pie in place one on the left there and one on the right and installing the fan I put the sticker side down and I think I moved it because I thought oh, I'll have the, the the wire sticking away from the fan so it doesn't get stuck in there and then just screwed it down come with two screws and all it does is it pi it pops into two of the pins on the right hand side lower bro you miss the the first one because there's two five volts from the right hand side and then a the ground so miss the first five volt and then uh, put the second and third pin in. What I'll do is I'll pop up a, a a diagram just so you can see it. But what I had to do was I had to pull the heat sink away from the uh, plug there because obviously I couldn't see which was red and which was black. So the red is the second pin in on the bottom row and then obviously the ground is next to it. Hopefully you can see it clearly there. But like I say, I've popped up a diagram and you can you can see it there. I just made sure the wire wasn't getting in the way and that's pretty much it just pop the case on flip it over you've got your four long screws doesn't rattle around it's, it's a really good fit okay so that's all the screws put in the only thing left to do is to stick the little rubber feet on There we go, our own little SNES pie case. Uh, what I also ordered as well with the case was a 3 amp power supply. Because uh, what I did notice was that 
when I was using my normal two amp one sometimes I'd get the little flashing icon in the right hand side saying it needed a little bit more power and this one seems to be fine it's uh, a good one anyway I'll leave the links down below and uh, what I'll do now is I think I'm going to download a ROM and I'm going to go and install it onto the SD card okay so I'm back onto the PC and I've gone over to Arcade Punk's uh, website have a look around and uh, and download a, a Pi image uh, off here. I, what I did was I've downloaded the three gigabyte Snares Nes Classic image by Mad Little Pixel. So you'll find the image in there. And all I've done is I've popped over to Etcher and I've downloaded the 64-bit portable version for my OS and downloaded that. And what that'll do is that'll it will put the image onto your memory card for you so once you've downloaded that let's get back onto there load up etcher with your uh, image file I mean obviously you can download RetroPie yourself and then you could burn the RetroPie Im image and um, add your ROMs yourself but this one's all added all the NES and the SNES games from the classic editions right so there's etcher so you select your image um, oh, I'm tell you what I'm good, just gonna drag it in so open that up and you can just drag your image in and there it is there this one's just under 3 gig and then you select drive that's it storage device USB generic so you select that one and then hit the flash and it'll then flash the image onto the uh, SD card and then all you got to do is pop it out, stick it into your Raspberry Pi and up comes your image all ready to go. You, then you'll, all you have to do is set up your controllers which it asks for straight away and you're good to go. Thanks very much.